For the past few years, there's been so much talk of smart cities in India, and India's smart cities project is well underway. But what makes a city truly smart? How do you use technology to make the whole process a lot more efficient? Well, I caught up with someone who knows the smart cities here in Berlin. Here's what he had to say. Well, on tech today, I have a very special guest with me here at the Siemens HQ in Berlin, Matthias Rebellius. Thanks so much for joining us on tech today. Yeah, hello. Hello, everybody out there. So it's good. Matthias, you've worked so much in smart cities and in India, we have a very robust smart cities plan. But from a technology perspective, I wanted to understand what are the true parameters that you know, Indian cities should be working on to make them truly smart using technology? If, it's, if, it, if you say it's only two, a lot needs to be done, of course. But if it's two, definitely making it, making it more digital and then also more, more renewable, more sustainable. So how to do this? First of all, we need re more renewable energy sources, you know, outside the cities or inside the cities and uh, connect all of the, um, the assets. So we have the smart metering and then also in more intelligent grid to manage uh, the complexity and the increasing complexity in the low voltage grid, especially with all the e-car charging infrastructure um, and also the decentral generation that we are having. And this will provide more sustainability in cities. I think that's fascinating. You mentioned EVs as well. Now, we've seen a lot of EVs here um, at Siemensstadt, but of course, we are trying to push for EVs in India in a big way as well. Charging infrastructure, range anxiety. Are there things out there in terms of smart mobility that companies, tech companies like Siemens have to offer as well, which can make the whole process a lot more efficient? Yes, we also talk about the hybrid world. You know, that does not mean that we have hybrid cars only, but we have, we live in, you know, it's, it's, there's a, there's an evolution. Of yeah. So the number of EV cars will, of course, increase, but not only in the private world, but it's also about, we talk about autonomous driving. We talk about charging, uh, charging as a service and electrical fleet management, uh, which is a very important point and also for then for a bus charging, for example. We have in all of these areas, we have examples around the world, also in India. Mm -hmm. And I do see this increasing uh, significantly and it needs investments also from uh, the, the, the cities, the states mm -hmm. and also from private uh, investors. We're standing in front of an iconic historic building and it's fascinating to see the mix of traditional uh, architecture and all these smart solutions. Is this the way forward for the world? Smart cities similar to this one in Berlin? Especially here as we are celebrating our 175th birthday of Siemens today here in Berlin at this site. And we are, we are starting just, we are just about to, plan, to start uh, the uh, refurbishment, uh, the, one of the largest here in Siemens Stadt, where we combine the historic uh, uh, um, legacy, which we will also preserve for the next generations with modern technology and making it a net zero, fully sustainable campus, um, open also for where people live and work have also research and develop and deploy the technologies for the future where we also will be supporting for the next 175 years as one of the most relevant tech companies in the world. Matthias, thanks so much for speaking to us. An absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.